Hello and welcome back. We've got a really, really cool video for you today. I don't know how I didn't think of this yet. After all the grinding of my brain I've done to think of new ideas to keep this uh, channel going, um, I didn't think of this. Tell you that much. This is Yggdrasil, the world tree. We have the nine realms. Before we go any further, I want to give credit to Squablo for making this map. This was on the Steam Workshop. This is an amazing map, so go check it out if you want to play it yourself. Just type this in. I doubt there's many maps titled Yggdrasil. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Yggdrasil, you probably know of Asgard. You know, from like the Marvel movies. That's right, that's Norse mythology. They didn't come up with that. I don't think anyone thought they did, but just in case you did, uh, they did. So this is Asgard up here at the top of the world tree. We got Vanaheim over here, which is like the other gods. I believe this is supposed to be Alfheim, which is like the land of the elves. We got Muspelheim over here, which would be the land of fire. This would be Niflheim, land of ice and mist. And then in the middle, we have Midgard, which is basically like Earth, a land of the humans. And then down here, we've got Helheim, land of the dead. I'm gonna say this is Jotunheim, land of the giants, which would make this Svartalfheim, which is the land of the dwarves and black elves, which I don't know how they're gonna live here, but we'll give, we'll, we'll let them figure that out. We're not gonna get too crazy with it, but we are gonna make this cool, all right? So let's make the gods dwarves, I feel like, because I feel like they're so big beardy. So we're gonna make them giant dwarves. So let's just give them, I don't know, 12. Let's give them a mortal, of course, and uh, make them giant. Those are the gods of Asgard. So the same thing for Vanaheim, which is the Vanir, which are essentially just gods as well. They just didn't get along. So we're gonna do the same thing here. Uh, dwarves, Vanaheim, and then aptly named Alfheim gets elves. And we're gonna kind of just give them no traits, I think. Maybe we'll give them, um, let's give them genius. I feel like, cause they're smart, I don't know. We gotta give them something. Okay, Midgard, let's put a bunch of humans in here. We may be weak, but there's a lot of us humans. They get no traits. Okay, Muspelheim, we're just gonna put maybe orcs here, to be honest. There's actual demons running around. Yeah, it's just, they're probably gonna get killed off, but let's just throw orcs over here and who knows, maybe they'll, uh, maybe they'll be okay. Why did I call them humans? This is Midgard. I'm a silly goober. And also this is Alfheim. Okay, and then Niflheim. No one really lives here. So we're just gonna throw a bunch of cold ones in here. And then if someone chooses to come to this realm and inhabit it, that's their right to do so. Okay, let's see if they set up a camp. Okay, cool. Let's give them a little extra since this is like their home world. Svartalfheim. Also, I should say if I pronounce these wrong or just pronounce them lazily, you know, just to, if I'm gonna be saying Svartalfheim a bunch of times, I'm just gonna say it that way. The easy way that rolls off the tongue. This is probably a slightly more correct way to say it, but I'm not gonna get it right every time. Jotunheim, we're gonna put giants here. We're gonna put humans here, but we're gonna make them giant. Bada bing, a bada boom. There you go. And then Helheim, I think we also should leave this empty if anyone decides they want to live here feel free we're gonna throw a bunch of skeletons in there all right let's get this show on the road huh let's crank up the speed we didn't name this one why is it called bab <laughs> jotunheim cool muspelheim's already gone uh as as expected so we'll see if anyone's brave enough to go set up their own kingdom there i wouldn't recommend it i don't think you know i feel a certain loyalty to my boys the midgardian humans because that's basically me and uh, probably you unless you're a god and live in asgard in which case make sure you subscribe baby Come on. But yeah, I feel like I gotta root for myself in this case. But at the same time, you know, if uh, if uh, one of these other non-god kingdoms wins, I'll be happy too. If Asgard wins, which is expected, you know, it'll be a little bit anticlimactic being like, dang, the all-powerful gods won the war? That's crazy. But hopefully the uh, people in Vanaheim, the other gods, will give them a run for their money. You know, maybe they'll fight each other and then uh, Midgard will have time to take over the world or something. We'll find out. Now, to just appreciate this map a little bit, you'll notice that a lot of these places are connected in multiple areas and I did make a couple changes like I added this river here this wasn't there before and then I adjusted the uh, mountain pathways in a little bit in a couple spots this river was also not here either because I wanted there to be two ways I wanted every kingdom to have multiple ways out and also a way to get to their next door neighbor on one side and the one on the other side closer so like Alfheim can go by boat straight into Asgard but they can also take a series of tunnels to get into Midgard. And Midgard has it a little bit rough because they're in the middle, but that's just sort of unavoidable because they are quite literally called Midgard. My guy, keep up. 
They're in the middle because they're Midgard. That's us. We're the Earth. We're the center of the universe. And the haters, they don't like it. They don't like seeing us in the middle. And I say, come on. Come take it. Okay, Jotunheim looking good, 67. The Giants, I do have that mod on that makes them pass the traits down in case that isn't obvious. So the Giants will always be giant and the Asgardians will always be giant and immortal, except for, oh yeah, no, you're giant and immortal. Okay, cool, yeah, everything is working as planned. Vanaheim's kind of got it rough because they got such a stinky starting location. It's great because they got the blessed biome the enchanted biome rather but they can only access the first half of it for now and then like it's not even that much space over there so they really should be trying to find a way to go expand and if it was up to me if i could give them advice i'd say hey sneak your way into asgard while you can before they take this area heck or even work your way down into niflheim over here and just start setting up camp in the ice world you know it's not like it's that cold you got a couple cold dudes to deal with they ain't so tough we got 125 svartalfheim i don't know how this is gonna go for them are they just gonna starve to death because they chopped all the mushroom trees down and now okay there's more over here now what there's no uh there's no grass yeah let's go ahead and hook them up all right Let's make them crystal biome, or at least a mixture. Let's do that. Let's put crystal along the river here, and then let's put um, mushroom. I should have done that earlier. Uh, I was just trying to play it how it was set up, but I think that this doesn't, like they're literally just gonna starve to death and that'll be it. And I'd like them to be able to participate. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Plant fertilizer, give them some trees. There you go. Sorry about that. Should have done that sooner. Let's give them a few fruit bushes in the middle as an apology so they don't all die. There we go. Imagine me playing god mode over literally the realm of the gods. This is kind of crazy. I also like that Asgard got this nice like gold yellow. It's perfect for them. And actually Vanaheim too got a pretty close kind of light green. Looks pretty uh, pretty godly. Pretty godlike. And Alfheim got green. Did I? I didn't do that. And then Midgard got. Dude, that's crazy. They all got like the appropriate colors. This one's kind of whatever, but that's good enough for me. Dang. Nice work. Us. Okay, Midgard is looking good, dude. And maybe I'm a little biased because, you know, I'm from Midgard. But uh, I think that, uh, you know, numbers might beat powers. Maybe. Because remember, we gave them giant and immortal. We didn't give them like super health or like super damage. Like sure they got a lot of health and they do have blessing, which I guess helps them out a lot too. But like, you know, they're so slow because they can't really make docks yet. In fact, there's no guarantee that there's enough space in this river to build a dock. I didn't actually test that first, but boy, oh boy, am I hoping. I just went around and expanded the water. Let's actually give them a little more space here. So I want to make sure that there's ample room for people to build docks because yeah, there's no guarantee that when they can build docks, they will build docks. But it looks like they are kind of doing it. They don't need that much space. Look at that. What is that? Three squares? Four squares? They can do anything they set their minds to. Yeah, it looks like most of them have docks now. Oh, Midgard's over here in uh, Niflheim. Interesting. Okay, that bodes really well. I would love if we get a Midgard win. Can you imagine? Go team human. Let's go. They got to expand as much as they can because the Asgardians are going to be friggin' tough to take down. But if we just keep letting them waste their time stuck on this little island before they get across the river, you know, maybe we'll have a chance. I keep saying we like, uh, you know, but this is we. Come on, let's go. Chant with me. Why aren't you chanting? Humans. Humans. Bro, come on. Looks like Alfheim's got the next level dock. They got some transport boats. If they can cross the river, that'll be good for them because they are currently like the least impressive kingdom right now. I know their population is technically above these two, but uh, they aren't immortal. So they're going to need a little more than just 20 plus population. Also, I just noticed something. <laughs> the freaking Midgard has just declared war on Asgard and they're like setting up camp on their front doorstep, dude. This is about to go down. They're about to assault the Asgardians. Okay, Vanaheim is just stuck here. How did they, wait, 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 wait. How did they get the dock on that side? Do you see, am I tripping? Isn't that on the other side of the river? Did they swim across the river and then set up a dock on the opposite side? Cause that doesn't really work. Dude, Midgard is out here. Look at that. They're even like sprawling into the caverns here. We aren't afraid of nothing, man. Uh oh, kid getting chased by a cold one. Bruh, friggin' rude, dude. Okay, they're struggling a little bit to set up further in, but you know, that's fine. They got a little farm. This is so secure right now. The only way for anyone to get to this village is by like going through all these caverns and taking a boat across the water. Like this is gonna be secure for a long time. I guess someone could come through here and then up and over, but still, who's gonna bother coming over here? 
This is the safest place in the universe right now. Okay, how's the war going, boys? Oh, that's right. You can't get there yet. <laughs> Goobers. Oh, someone started setting up a camp here. I was like, so what village got destroyed? Um, Jotunheim is up here trying to set up camp in uh, Muspelheim. And that's going to be tough because this dude is strong. Got a fiery sword and can heal himself. So, I mean, you're going to have to send more than like three guys at a time. But if they could do it, that'd actually be really cool. If anyone could do it, it's the giants, you know? Anyone bother with this place yet? I'm going to say no and probably keep it that way. I don't know if you guys want to live here, but I sure as hell wouldn't. Even the trees are like, get me out of here, bro. Okay, Svartalfheim's looking pretty good. They've pretty much expanded over this whole land. This also looks sick now. I'm glad we added the crystal down the middle here. Looks really cool. Let's go ahead and turn off biome overgrowth, though. I feel like it's getting a little weird, you know? Let's go ahead and kind of straighten this out. I feel like it looks odd. There we go. The last time I adjust anything over here, I think. Okay, look at this. They're just setting up like a war camp. They're also starving to death out here because they forgot to bring food. I guess so not a great plan maybe go home and wait till you actually can get there they're gonna have to put a dock here i think in order to get all the way up oh they just made peace dang i wanted to see that oh well we'll get the chance later when they're ready it looks like jotunheim has succeeded at setting up camp wait no not yet and it's not because they killed the demon it's because the demon just walked away for a little bit so they're still <laughs> Still a process. They'll get around to it, though. I feel like they're just wasting their time, though. What they should be doing is, well, I don't know, I guess declaring war on Midgard? That's not what I want you to do. And on second thought, keep at it. Move straight into Muspelheim and just waste all your time there. Don't you dare attack my people, okay? Don't you even bother. Okay, Midgard has pretty much taken over the entirety of Niflheim, which is fantastic. I don't even really see any cold ones left, which is really good news. There's a couple back here and this guy, but that's okay. That's probably just like Santa's workshop or something, you know? Not, not a threat. Uh, we got Vanaheim. Oh, we got a boat on the move. Where's it going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Huh? What'd you, what'd you do? What'd you do? Oh, Alfheim's up here. I did not even see them do that. Cool, they must have set a boat up. Nice. Alfheim's making a move, getting their way into Asgard. Love that. Okay, Asgard's got big boats now, so they can potentially leave their main island now. Oh, it looks like they have. They moved on to another section. People better start blocking them off quicker, because once they get to all these different sections, they're going to be kind of unstoppable if they can expand their population. Right now, the only chance everyone else has to beating these two god kingdoms is keeping them from expanding. Oh, as I say that, they just went to another section. You gotta keep their population low, dude, and strike. Oh, it looks like Midgard just declared war on Asgard again. But can they get there now? Will they get there now? Are you gonna attack them? Oh, wait, yes. The war's begun. Oh, man, Asgard just stomped them, though. They're so much stronger. But hey, you know what we have? We have the numbers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> they got numbers, too. Okay, yikes. Okay, so front, front uh, little battle village is gone. Rest in peace. And now I think uh, our entire kingdom is about to get annihilated, potentially. Um, please. Please hold them off. Please do your best. They just don't even stand a chance. That's brutal. All right, you guys, get in there. Please. Go, 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 go. Please, 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 please. Okay, they just made peace, which is good because they were about to destroy them. So please leave. Please go away. Please leave. I don't want you here. Your, your bad vibes all around. Go away. Okay, cool. Vanaheim's up here. They're up here. They made it up here to Asgard. They're taking over this. This probably the biggest landmass there is up here. So that's big for them. Although this isn't like a team we're rooting for because they're just as big of a problem as Asgard is. So the hell, man. Um, Alfheim is like kind of on same population par as these two, except they're like weak elves. So they're gonna just, they're gonna lose. So who's at war with who? Oh, the two god kingdoms are at war. When did that happen? Bro, oh, all three of these are at war up here. Okay, so the two <laughs> the two god kingdoms and then the, uh, you know, the elves. You ready to fight a god, Timmy? You ready to fight a god, Timmy? We'll be watching your career with great interest. You got this. Your parents have made some questionable decisions about who to declare war on, but uh, you know what? Wishing you the best. I kind of want Vanaheim to take over Asgard because, well, actually no actual reason. I think it just seems cooler if uh, Vanaheim attacks Asgard and like wipes them out, you know, in their own kingdom. That sounds cool. Okay, what's going on here? What the hell's all this? Jotunheim's up to something. Look at this. They keep, they're still at this. Man, they they killed the demon. And one of them got a fire sword and then died. Look at them. These giants are just punching them down. Keep on punching, dude. I don't think that's gonna work, though. That ain't it, but they keep trying. It looks like they're at war with, oh, they're at war with Alfheim. Alfheim is not gonna live through this. <laughs> 
I tell you what, okay, Asgard got wiped off of their main island, and now they have like these three scattered islands. Is Midgard at war with anyone? Midgard's at peace with everyone right now, which is good for us. That's right, us. Svartalfheim, looking cool as heck. I don't think they've really done anything so far. They're currently at war with no one, and uh, they've pretty much done nothing, but that actually seems pretty characteristic, you know? Just kind of like living in their own safe space. Don't mess with us, we won't mess with you kind of thing. They are exploring, though. Looks like they're looking around. They're also starving to death, which is uh, not a good idea. Alpha made peace with the Jotunheim. Live on, my boys. Asgard is out here. I feel like their army is pretty much thinned out to this one, right? Do they have another one somewhere? Okay, they got kind of an army over here, but yeah, they're they're being weakened like crazy. Okay, Midgard just declared war on Vanaheim, though. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with that. But then again, if they don't do it now, Vanaheim's just getting stronger and stronger, so maybe they have to. Go, boys. Get them. Just because they're giant, blessed, and immortal doesn't mean you can't win. <laughs> they don't do that much damage. It's just, you know, compared to you guys, it's not that much different. Okay, cool. They're actually doing it. It's perfect timing in a way because Vanaheim's armies are way out here like this is their main army right here this is this is what you want to look out for these dudes will wreck you big time but at the same time they might just counterattack, which would be really sad oh Svartalfheim is at war with them too after i was talking smack about how they weren't doing anything this is bad news there's actually a war over here in the land of ice sheesh okay well it's starting to look pretty messy i don't know how midgard's gonna hold up against literally everyone kind of around them now they sort of missed their chance to take over asgard earlier um it looks like asgard's going down which is cool they've got like what four soldiers left five and it looks like alfheim actually did a lot of that like they actually kind of destroyed them looks like they also oh whoa 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 just kidding hold up asgard's got a whole army over here still too bad it shouldn't be over here it should be over here like you know where your kingdom is but uh, you know they're not out yet i tell you what okay midgard is dive bombing fast they're going down is this what is this vanaheim oh no <laughs> oh no it's not looking good friends i think vanaheim is getting too powerful up here Svartalfheim is on the offensive. No one's made it to their kingdom yet. They're just out here attacking. Midgard is getting destroyed by Vanaheim right now. It hurts to watch, but uh, we sort of knew it was going to happen. They took too long to take over the heavenly kingdoms up here, or whatever you want to call them. I like that the Asgardian army is just hiding in the corner, seemingly. They have no kingdom now. They're just hiding in a corner. They're scared of Vanaheim at this point. And Midgard's been pushed all the way back here to Niflheim. And I don't think this is a great place to uh, hide up. You know, I, I said this is going to be somewhere that would be hard to get to. But it's now easy to get to because they blew up everything on the way there. They do have some armies left, but uh, it's not going to be enough. Jotunheim has officially, I would say officially has set up camp in Muspelheim. Because uh, I think they killed all the... At least all the nearby demons. Enough to like, I don't know, look at them. They're growing crops. I'd say that's a success. Midgard has made peace with Svartalfheim and Vanaheim, which means they're now at which means they're now at war with no one, which is very lucky for them. They were being pushed to the back corner, and um, that hurts. Looks like Alfheim just declared war on Svartalfheim. Crossed the map here. I guess they felt so confident after destroying Asgard that uh, they're ready for the next thing. Hey, look, it's our it's our guy. It's Timmy. Timmy, you're 61. You've been in the war probably this whole time and you still have no kills maybe he's like the bard of the group you know he just sort of keeps the team spirits high also there's so many giants in this mix what's with that it's actually the giant trait it actually is how did they get the giant trait so many of them all right whatever carry on is the asgardian army gone now I think this is them. Look, they have no home. There's just a bunch of random, like, homeless Asgardians out here. That's funny, actually. They don't know what to do. They have no home. Are they gonna set up a new kingdom? What happens in that situation? They can't, because this is, like, Alfheim territory. Man, there's homeless gods out here. <laughs> They're trying to, like, clear space for, like, buildings, but the elves are building them at the same rate they can destroy them. They're gonna starve, too, I think. Yeah. All right, well, that'll deal with them. Okay. Vanaheim made peace with Alfheim. That's funny. They were like, now, now you guys can live you guys are chill just stay over there and we'll stay over here but we're gonna go kill the humans and the dwarves because screw those guys it's like what did they do to you man medgard is bothering nobody 
they're hanging out in the corner of like the least appealing realm you know obviously obviously not including the realm of the dead and like the realm of fire but you know as far as the livable realms go this one is probably the least appealing it wasn't meant to be livable but gosh darn it we made it work man vanaheim's all the way down here I feel like I'm okay with Vanaheim winning. I think the only win I would have been disappointed by would have been Asgard because it just seems too obvious. It's like, oh yeah, like the main god realm Asgard, everyone knows them. Like the realm of like Thor and everyone like, yeah, oh, they won big surprise. But Vanaheim being like the other gods, um, you know, I'm okay with them winning. I feel like it was probably always going to be one of these two that wins just because you put two realms of gods in a area with a bunch of realms of regular like non-immortal gods and yeah the gods are probably gonna win but at least it wasn't the obvious ones oh timmy died what were you doing on the way out here timmy <laughs> last time we saw you you were way up here why'd you go all the way to muspelheim dude that's what happens when you go there you die <laughs> that's sad but hey maybe he got a kill maybe he killed a fiery skull before the end before he looks like he probably burned to death cause that's what everyone else is doing looks like jotunheim got removed from muspelheim as well and now they're being pushed into their own kingdom and annihilated by vanaheim isn't that cool yeah vanaheim's 1200 population oh man are the how are homeless gods doing out here are they still out here oh they probably all starved huh you might be immortal but you still gotta eat in this game you know oh wait there's still one left oh man how the mighty have fallen as guardian god homeless removed from their home and now starving to death with nowhere to live and i think they're probably the last one left so they potentially watched everyone they know get killed or starve as well and now it's their turn rough dude sucks oh wait a second no way they just got adopted into vanaheim just like that <laughs> cool all right well i love happy endings Vanaheim is being like weirdly slow at this point surprisingly they've been I guess it's a big map a lot of traveling time but I don't know I feel like you could defeat Jotunheim pretty quick with all this going on why is it taking so long their population's like staying steady like look at it, it's even increasing a little bit Midgard same thing I guess they have to cross the river to get to them maybe oh wait no it is it's it's not frozen but I don't know what your excuse is for Jotunheim look at this I guess this army of giants on the front porch here is just like scaring them so yeah they'll put up a fight they won't win but they'll put up a fight let's go ahead and crank up the speed here because i feel like we're at the uh point of the match where it's just a matter of it happening we've sort of seen how it's gonna go and now it's just a matter of it playing out i don't know if i registered that Svartalfheim got eliminated at some point i knew it was happening but it definitely happened at some point it looks like probably a while ago by the looks of it. I think since they were also dwarves, it probably happened really fast because they just had to uh, walk in here and take it instead of actually kill everyone, which is what's taking so long over here because it's a little hard to kill everyone when they're all giant and angry. Look at that. Vanaheim keeps sending these little armies in and this Jotunheim army just destroys them every time. And they're still trying to set up camp in literal hell over here. Well, I guess this is literal hell down here, but this is pretty pretty close you know land of fire pretty close all right another army comes in and a lot of people die and it looks like jotunheim survives <laughs> and they still have a huge army left okay like vanaheim is at war with alfheim but they like haven't even bothered with them yet it's like they can't even get there and they definitely can but it's like they don't want to look at this <laughs> look at this madness okay vanaheim's actually doing a lot more damage to the uh alfheim armies oh man they got good stuff too from when they destroyed as far so they got all the the crystal biome like ore and stuff look at see all these like mithril and silver weapons running around that's gonna make them even stronger but is it strong enough to defeat jotunheim that's the question <laughs> imagine if it's not i would say jotunheim has a chance if there are two options for lands to expand into weren't helheim and muspelheim because like there's two pretty much unlivable realms next to them so they they pretty much don't have the option to expand they can defend as long as they want uh but i don't think they can really expand i mean it looks like they're trying but but you're not gonna want to set up camp in helheim dude this is just gonna be a nightmare for you It looks like they finally broke through the defenses, and Jotunheim burns. Man, they put up such a good fight, man. They held off for like hundreds, actual hundreds of years of literal gods fighting them. And they just kind of camped out right in this uh, pass here and just annihilated army after army after army that's a win in my book you know they were never gonna win against powerful immortal gods but 
Gosh darn, much better fight than anyone else could have. And look at this. <laughs> now Vanaheim has to go take down their final village in Muspelheim, which is just a horrible place to go. And I don't know how, but Alfheim's still here, and they've been attacked a couple times, and uh, Midgard's still here too. So, like, heck, man. Being immortal ain't everything. You still gotta, like, win, you know? Jotunheim is officially gone. Rest in peace, kings. We'll remember you. There goes Alfheim. Rest in peace. You did well. It looks like it's also Midgard's turn. Held on for as long as they can. Can't say they didn't try. Can't say we didn't try. Vanaheim wins. Cool. That was actually really, really cool. I know it was maybe a little bit predictable, but what a cool idea for a map, huh? The realms? So cool. Loved that. I like Midgard declaring war on Asgard and, and setting up camp right on the edge and just staring at them across the water. That was great. Svartalfheim doing their thing. Jotunheim just being a bunch of champs. Jotunheim just being a bunch of unkillable chads. And also just spending the entire time trying to set up camp in this horrible place to live. And then succeeding at it. Alfheim actually doing pretty well. Taking over like the left half of Asgard. Awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. And uh, yeah, let me know if you have any other cool ideas like this. I don't know if we'll do this map again anytime soon, but I would like to do it again someday. This is really cool. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.